Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. And if you are brand new here, welcome. I'm Bonnie, Old Soul Mermaid. And today's video is going to be tarot and oracle deals and steals from Half Price Books. Now, if you don't know, if you're not in the States, Half Price Books is a local chain. Uh, it's used bookstores, um, used CDs, you know, used media, you can find DVDs there and Blu-rays, but they also do have some new merchandise, um, journals, stationery, like overstock from other retailers. But they also have a really, usually a good metaphysical book and tarot section at their locations, though they do vary depending on where you are. Now, in one of the locations where, where I'm at in Texas, um, they had a really, they, it, it looked like somebody was selling off their collection and that does happen sometimes. And that's how I get some of the deals that I mention. So we're going to take a look at three, three decks that I picked up and they are brand new and sealed. And you can see from the price tags, this one was $6.99. It's Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle. It's by, uh, Chico Books. This is an Alana Fairchild deck. It's, I think, one of her more current ones, White Light Oracle. And this was $12.98. And you can see it's sealed, brand new, perfect condition. Uh, this one, Tarot Made Easy by Barbara Moore with the art by Eugene Smith. Uh, this was $9.99. I think I lost a sticker somewhere. But, uh, yeah, great deal. And plus, I had an additional 10% off coupon. So, we're going to I'm going to pick one to go through first and we'll get to it. So, this is my very first Alana Fairchild deck. I have not purchased any of her decks before, and this is published by I think this is yeah, Blue Angel, and I don't have any Blue Angel decks. So this is kind of a treat for me. I'm going to try to open this carefully. I'm very, very excited. Um, the images on the back of the box look beautiful. And I have seen some, uh, some unboxings of Alana Fairchild's decks, but I haven't, there's, there's always something that takes precedence, but this was sitting in the camp, the tarot cabinet calling my name. So, okay, I had a struggle taking off that side tape. I don't know, if you have some Blue Angel decks, let me know if that's common with them being sealed on the side. I didn't like that and it's sticky after I've taken off the sides, the side tape. Okay. Wow. Um, this looks like a very nice chunky book, like a real book book. Does, let me know, does Blue Angel usually have an insert in here to hold the cards or do they usually come loose like this? These are very, very large cards. Okay, so we'll move that aside and we'll just kind of take a look really quick. Those are the backs. I have to see when this book... Oh, it looks like it came out, or this is a second printing, uh, 2020. So let me know if you have this deck. I really don't know anything about it. Let's see, on the back of the box, it says, uh, you, have light with, you have a light within you, trust in that light and in your own courage. The light is strong enough to guide, support, and empower you to fulfill your sacred purpose of healing and soulful manifestation. Uh, this is a 44 card uh, deck and guidebook. Features luminous imagery and visionary by from visionary artist 
A. Andrew Gonzalez and Enlightening Messages with Signature Healing Processes from Best Selling Author Alana Fairchild to help you integrate the loving soul medicine of white light. Interesting. I don't have anything like this. And these cards are probably, these are huge. These are probably along the lines of the si size wise of the Awakened Soul Oracle by Ethany. Nice matte cardstock, so there's no gloss, so it's very nice. So we're just going to flip through these cards because I have two other decks we, we need to look through. Magnetism of Eros. Cupio Dissolvi. Wow. These are beautiful, beautiful cards. And they have some words that I, I'm not going to try to butcher. Yeah, I'd really like to know if you have this deck, um, if there's a difference between the first and the second printing. Like I said, you know, I just saw this in the tarot cabinet and it was, yeah, they keep their tarot decks locked up and it is um, the beautiful white imagery on the box um, just caught my eye. And for that price, Perfume of Sophia. I'm going to be very, very interested in reading this book. This is like nothing I have. Yeah, I couldn't, because the box was sealed and knew I couldn't open the box, you know, when the employee opened the cabinet for me to look at the card. So if the boxes are, you know, used and already opened, you can do that and count the cards, you know, in a tarot deck. But when they're new, you can't do that. Wow. This is the image on the back of the cards. Very, very calming with the white light. Gorgeous. Yeah, um, Half Price Books is like one of the one retail uh, locations that I, my husband and I will still go to, you know, during everything this year. Um, one in particular because it's a large store and we know if we go, if we hit it like on a Sunday night before they close, there's like no people or only a couple of people and a couple of employees and it is oh that's beautiful um yeah we stock the the parking lot if we go there and it's busy we don't you know we just drive on by or we'll wait for a little bit to see and then we'll go in the only other place that I've been shopping is uh, picking up craft supplies at Joann's, but I order online and do curbside pickup. So, yeah, the Half Price Books is the only store that I'll actually go in. And I also go in to pick up magazines for collage work. So, see, what a brand new deck um, at this price and then an extra 10% off. And this retails, yeah, for $25.95. Five. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next one. This is Mermaids and Dolphins and Magical Creatures of the Sea. It's an oracle deck, 52 cards for affirmation and divination by Jillian Kemp. Look at that price. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to get the plastic off. All right. All right, plastic is off. And see the book, it's it's uh, one of these side open boxes. Divine the future with these 52 beautiful cards which showcase, which showcase the magic of two of the ocean's most beguiling creatures, the mermaid and the dolphin. Oh 
my favorites. The mermaid mistress of fateful beauty reveals what is known and what is hidden, while the dolphin is an ancient symbol of healing and salvation. Both appear alongside other creatures of the seas to bring your gifts of light and learning. Choose a card each day as an affirmation or try one of the 10 layouts shown within the illustrated book to foretell the future and connect with your deepest desires. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is by Chico Books. And let's get into it. You know, with Chico Books, I've had their decks before. I think they're the publishers of the Elemental Tarot. I don't have high hopes for their cardstock, but, you know, for six bucks. Here's the book. Um, let's see if I could see it in there. love the deck bags. This is $6.99, you guys, plus 10% off. So, wow. Yeah, it's, oh, it's a little bit glossy. It's not super flimsy. It's got like a, feels like a plastic, plastic coating. So very cute. I like the peach and the beige with the blues. King Poseidon. Queen M. M. Bright. Trite? Okay. It's going to have some more names I can't pronounce. The Triton. The Merman. The Nixie. Your soul will build what is trained, what it is trained to expect. The Mer Baby. <laughs> The skill of being in harmony increases your effectiveness. Okay, you've got to love a deck that has a mermaid in it. The water nymph. The Sith mermaid. The mermaid's purse. The ruin mermaid. I don't want to butcher that. Oceanus. Lorelei. The Siren. The Three Rhine Maidens. The Neried. Or Neried. Melusina. The Rusalka, the Kelpie, the Azure, the Mermaid's Rock, the Nyx. Yeah, this cardstock isn't horrible. Mermal, Merma, uh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. The Mermaid's Glove. The Strunkarl Mermaid. I'm wondering if these are from different cultures and folklore of the of merfolk and mermaids. The Sperm Whale. The Porpoise. So I guess we just saw the dolphin, the the mermaid cards. So these are the dolphin cards. The striped dolphin, the humpback whale, the gray whale. I really like the imagery in these cards. The beluga whale, the killer whale, the narwhal, the pilot whale. The Great Sea Monster. These are just fun, you guys. Tell me what you think. The Kraken. The 
great sea serpent, the blue whale, the right whale, the pathway to a dream is one of sacrifice, the common dolphin, you never know what great idea may arise in your step. Proteus, the old man of the sea, plan, relax, and flow with the tide. The spotted dolphin, there is always something positive in the future. The black dolphin, the hourglass dolphin. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Sedna, the sea goddess. The water leaper. The Vitea, the secret of happiness is consciously uniting with the best in you. The Hopper, or Hooper, Mingio. I'm really digging the deck, but of course I would have a bias. Yeah, this is super cute. A um, little rough around the edges but I think they're they're pretty much evenly cut um, the guidebook let's see I'll zoom out a little bit so um, mermaid lore dolphin lore how to lay the cards the cards the rulers of the ocean and this, uh, this edition was published in 2018, but it originally came out in 2007. Wow. All right, so mermaid lore. And you get some colored illustrations in here. Dolphin lore. How to lay the cards. So you're going to get some... Looks like a spread here. Wow. The water spirits, yes and no answer. The turning of the tide, three card spread, the four tides, the high and low tides, still waters run deep. Dancing Water, The Tenth Wave, oh, The Seven Seas Wish. So you get a lot of spreads and color card depictions in this book. So now they delve into the Rulers of the Oceans and we go into, okay, the Rulers of the Oceans. So you get, there's no, um, well, you do get a keyword, one keyword. So for Melusina, the keyword is shock. Very cool. And now you go into the dolphins. So there's something for all the cards. Very, very cool. This was a, for $6.99. Look at the beautiful imagery. Let me know what you think in the comments. Was it worth $6.99 plus 10% off? So the last one is Tarot Made Easy by Barbara Moore and Eugene Smith. Now let me know in the comments because I think there are several printings or iterations of this deck. Now I think um, this is known as the uh, Classic Llewellyn deck. Not the one that's out of print, but one that's still in print. It had a yellow box with the, I think it was a depiction of the Fool card. Let me know if you have that version. And I think this deck now has a new boxing arrangement. So this might be an older, older um, iteration. So we will see because this doesn't feel like the newer Llewellyn clamshell box and book. 
though there is supposed to be a book in here. It's this flimsy uh, packaging. Okay, so this is the insert inside that this box. Um, so it is, I don't think Llewellyn does this packaging anymore, but here is the full size book. Learn to read tarot with any deck. So the cards are quite small, but I think they are normal. Let's get down. Llewellyn size. I'm not crazy about this packaging. Um, to be truthful, I may make just a large bag that will house the book and the deck together. I'd really like to know in the comments if you have this deck in another packaging, you know, another arrangement. So these are the backs. Um, this feels more papery than the newer Llewellyn cardstock. So yes, I'm thinking that this is an older printing or version of this deck. But for $9.99 and 10% off, you know, I could deal with it. There's the fool, and I'm just gonna flip through these, give you my opinions while I'm flipping through. Okay, this is a perfect RWS clone. If you are a beginner and you are new to my channel, I would say this is a fantastic deck uh, to use if you aren't jiving with the, the Pamela Coleman Smith of the artwork of the RWS. It's This is basically a clone. Yeah, very beginner friendly. You could read with this deck and it's coupled with a looks like a very informative book. So everything that's in the here, you know, everything that's in the RWS, you could get from this deck as well. And let me know in the comments if you work with this deck. Yeah, Eugene Smith is has done the artwork for the newer Edgar Allan Poe deck, which I do not have. And also, I think the Alice in Wonderland tarot, which he has done with uh, I think the book was done by Barbara Moore as well. So yeah, pa more papery with the cardstock. Maybe an older Llewellyn cardstock. But I th think this is an old edition. I think maybe the newer one, which I think comes in the, you know, the nice packaging that Llewellyn's doing now. I think the new edition comes in that. Let me know. Three of Cups, yes, a very good beginner deck. Yeah. It's borderless, just the border on the bottom with the title. It's um, got kind of that medieval feel like the RWS, but it's got a more animated feel in the illustrations and maybe some of you might, um, this artwork may resonate more with you. But yeah, great beginner deck. Oh yeah, I can see making a tarot deck, a tarot bag for this like the cup up there. It's waiting out in the distance. And, you know, this could be, because it's not so precious, you know, I wouldn't. And how, this would be a great tarot on the go. Yeah, I'd throw it in the bag and, you know, you could do any kind of reading with this. Yeah, let me know what you think. And if you have this, or if you have a newer edition, I'm gonna take a peek at the book and see when this printing was done. 
I think this deck has been out for a while. I do like the backs. I do like the backs quite a bit. Ooh, love the mermaid up there. Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, great beginner deck. All right, let's take a peek at the book really quick. Oh yeah, all of um, books by Barbara Moore here. Okay, uh, it says here first edition, second printing 20, 2017. So if you have a, a newer version, let me know, because I do think this comes in different packaging now. So there's an introduction all about you. It's all about tarot, reversals, significators, and clarifiers, how to do a reading, and then it goes into the cards. And there's spreads and extras. So you do get um, a picture of the card. No, it doesn't look like any keywords. Let's look. Oh, so it looks like they go into the courts and the minors first, and then they go into the majors. Interesting. So I'm looking for page 197. Spreads and extras. So you've got a yes or no spread. Barbara's mod modified horseshoe spread. So that's seven cards. The yes and no spread is five cards. She has something about Ethics and mission statement, difficult cards, recordings, practicing, read for yourself, read for imaginary people, read for a fictional character, pretend a celebrity is asked for a reading and practice on them, offer a free reading in exchange for feedback. So there is a lot in this book. Perfect if you are a newbie. Wonderful, wonderful book if you are a newbie. Want something um, with a book? You know, the RWS imagery isn't tickling your fancy. I think it's great, except for the packaging. Okay, so that concludes my video of tarot and oracle steals and deals from Half Price Books. Let me know if you are familiar with any of these decks, um, especially this one. I want to know about the packaging. I want to know if this is the oldest packaging for this because I think there's been newer editions. Um, let me know about the Alana Fairchild deck. If you have this, were you aware of it? Have you worked with it? And what do you think of my little mermaids and dolphins? I think this is adorable. It's worth, I think it's worth $6.99. What do you think? Okay. Uh, well with that, I will leave you and I hope you have the best of days until next time. Bye for now.